Welcome to the channel, I'm SmileyFaceX. I'm trying to put my Australian infantry experience to the test on Door Kickers 2. Currently, we're in the middle of a Iron Man run, which, if you don't know, you start a fresh game, you revert all your unlocks and all that stuff in the settings. Any deaths you take are permanent, you can't use them again. If dudes are lightly or heavily injured, they're out for a number of missions, and the run ends once everybody is either dead or all the missions are done. Okay, we've got a doozy of an episode up for you this time. We're taking on... We're getting ambushed first off the bat, which is the most dangerous one. We've got a heap of dudes out for that, so let's catch up on where what happened last episode, and then we'll get into it. On the previous episode, we took on some missions that we've completed before. We made sure to move as a team, work together, and we kept everybody alive, which is the main part. We almost got done by a dude in a suicide vest sneaking through the smoke. But, as you can see, we took him out. We were pretty sloppy. Pretty sloppy. We dropped a lot of angles. Made a couple of mistakes. Lost a couple of gunfights. Definitely wasn't as smooth as previous run-throughs. Previous missions, I should say. So, we ended up with... 7 out of the 10 people that went on this mission being injured. So, a bit of a rough one. But, on with today's mission. Let's do it. Today, we have the luxury of being ambushed. Okay. We're allowed to deploy eight guys. We only have five guys available to actually put in. So we have spare, nobs, Roxy, Pigeon, and Average. We also have this guy at the back here that we, if we can make control, we can uh, get an extra guy on the mission, which is pretty nice. So, this mission is very hard. <laughs> I've done it on the buddy on the channel again before the Iron Man, and it took me maybe half a dozen attempts before I got a clean run, and I think that was mainly up to luck. So. What we're going to do, the game plan. I think what we want is to make a little strong room just behind this vehicle. Because we can't engage this because we can get chopped up from too many angles. So we just need to get away from this police vehicle. So the majority of the dudes are going to be on the back vehicle. Welcome. Looks like we have one enemy on this flank. And then we have this gun here and uh, this one here. Once this one's done, this is the main one that I want to get out of the way. But we may have to deal with these guys first. So, I feel like aim speeds everything when we get an ambush, right? And we grenade anything that requires a little bit of distance. The best spot to be is here. So, you want dudes as close to that as possible. Pigeon's going to have to run. These two are going to have to run. These two are going to have to hold it down while those other guys do the running. Yep, let's go, let's go. Okay, we've got a uh, shit ton of grenades as well. So, we're going to make sure we make use of those. Probably should have put spare on the other side because that's a slightly longer angle. Can he be hit? I can't tell if he can or not. So, we're just going to back him up just a touch to make sure. You can push... I don't know if this is the best spot to be, but... Alright, we're going to give that a go, see how it looks initially. Hopefully we don't lose anyone off the bat. Okay. That guy's dead, which means green's freed up.
Okay, blue's actually still in danger. Yellow has an okay spot. Let's start fragging these positions with these two once they get there. I can't control that guy yet. Roxy's injured. Okay. Okay, spare needs to put in a little bit more work still. All right, I do have the militia. Yeah, Pigeon to reload. He's used a little bit of rounds. I'm going to keep hurling grenades just to make sure. Let's give this a little peek. Okay. We got two injured purse, so we don't want to fuck around too much with our positions. Yep, that's pretty nice actually. We can go there and then spare it needs to be ready. The plan is that um, we're going to hang back our injured guys. And we're going to grenade this depth position, hopefully with nobs if he's in a good position. And then we're going to pop it with spare to make sure. We don't... Ah, see, we're revealing ourselves to that angle, which is shit. Oh wait, that's the wrong person. God damn it. Okay, there's a th threat. Okay, let's keep going. All right, all the boys are in position. Let's see if we can get... Ah, we can't get a very good frag out. Okay, what about Pigeon? Does he have the arm? He does have the arm. Let's bang this while I'm going. Want to make the most of it? Oh, 
Poe. Where's Pigeon? He can push with Nobes. That angle is clear. There's a little bit of red space here. I want to be very deliberate with what I'm doing now. Okay, this looks good. Wait for the flashbangs. Flash out. Holding. <gasps> no. Oh, that's so unlucky. I done so well on that mission. Ooh. All right, two injured, average Roxy with Nobes and Pigeon dying an unfortunate death. Oh, I cannot believe that we lost them right at the end there. I thought I got away with absolute murder. All right, so we ran to consolidate, held our angles, started fragging. Shotguns worked really, really well. God damn it. We should just carpet bomb that area with frags. I wasn't really tracking the suicide vest, if I'm being honest. Oh, that's so disappointing. They've done so well. And it's only because the guy with the rifle popped out first instead of second. Oh my god. Alright, on with the next mission. Precious Cargo. So there's a VIP extract, secure and evac both females, so I guess there's two. Enemies all around us, so expect reinforcements to arrive if the, the alarm is raised. Those present on location will not go out without a fight, and they would rather kill than surrender our people. Right, so we do have to go quick as well. That's pretty annoying. So we can bring a Creed. Spare. I think uh, Henbo and Slut with shotties. So we're actually going to make a couple of different changes here. We're going to get a Mark 18. Alright, it's the plan. We're going to breach this locked door with a slap. Set up cross coverage with our two Mark 18 lads. Simultaneously, we're going to wall breach the bathroom. If there's a hostage in the bathroom, so be it. Um, and then we're going to rapidly push through to get the flank with the two shotguns. So the shotguns are going around and the Mark 18s are going to hold this. And then we're going to push through after that. Alright, let's see it. Charge in position. 
Okay, we're not actually going to... Go in raw on the main room. So we are going to prep it with a flash. I'm just trying to figure out... I don't want to expose these guys too much, so... Alright, let's see it. Go. Spare probably has the least amount of work, so he can flash. These guys are just going to push. Make space for each other. And we're going to be kicking. Actually, the more we can get this over to the right hand side, the better, because that's where Reed will be able to shoot. Let's do that. Good initial entry. And cut a little bit more. Okay, hostage was killed and we did get a injury, so we have to stick with that. We can't redo it. That is a shame. Let's see it. I actually want to pause it once we get there because I want to figure out what actually went wrong. Ready to blow. Because... Yeah, what's... What blew up? Yeah, so look, genuinely, I don't know what blew up just then. Something did. Something blew up. Alright, that is the Give No Quarter missions done. I believe we do have time to get in the next one. We can bring Creed and Spare. Probably a Mark 16, just because this is maybe a little bit long for a shoddy. It's probably not bad for a shoddy, but... I think we'll just... Creed and spear. Safe bet. They got slaps, stingers, all terrorists. It doesn't sound like there's any um, civilians, so we're taking frags. I don't think we need this many slaps, so we can just bring a couple more uh, bangs. Pretty straightforward, I think. So we want to attack it from the... We could attack it from both sides, but I feel like this angle is a bit much. It probably needs a bang because we're starting to get into the main area. And honestly, this main... This side here might need a little bit as well. But I think we're just going to pop with two and see how that looks. Okay, it looks okay. We're going to hold this because we own it. We'll bang the main area and then we'll swing. Okay, good kills. We're going to move him back, give him a reload. Blue can take up his arcs. Okay, we're going to flash the main area. Holding. See what else we can chop away. Not much. We can grenade this, which is really good. Uh, we actually can't employ our weapons, so we need to post back. Alright, we're going to go on this. Actually, wait on Alpha. Go. Okay, we're actually going to pop a little bit wider to give this guy room. Alright, let's see that. Okay, good. 
both lads have a job at the moment, so we can't frag anything. So we're just going to have to be real careful with what we're doing. Let's push up just a little bit. Okay, we don't know what's in this area or this area. So... And we can't, can't spare a, uh, let's chop this in half. We can't spare a dude for a frag because, okay, so this is probably a good point that I haven't really explained before. When can we frag and when do we just have to take the fight? Okay, because blue, first person to come around here could shoot blue. So blue can't throw a frag. Likewise, first person around here shoots blue. So blue can't because he's got a job. Uh, first guy around here shoots orange, so orange can't throw a frag. So that's why we can't do that. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to try to flip, get close to each other, and then use each other as a plate. So blue is kind of watching this angle the whole time, if that makes sense. So he's watching this, and he can snap to cover this if he needs to. We definitely want orange to go for it. Okay, that was uh, super not cool. Interesting. So what I was thinking is if we can post up here to control this, then we can wrap around. But I think we just wrap with both. So I think Creed just kind of goes. And this guy kind of just waits. Alpha, go. Okay. We can see the important stuff, so let's do it that way. We are going to bang this just for bloody safekeeping. I mean, why not? Flash out. Could be an argument be made there that he wasn't in a position to flash it, but... Oh, sweet. Mission done. Okay. One injury on Creed. That is a good result. That's because he took the fight. And if I'm being honest, Creed lost that fight. We lost that fight bad. Let's watch it. Charge in position. Two guns up. If that was a suicide bomber, we were in a lot of trouble. Good shooting. So that was when Creed could shoot. And then Creed got bad at shooting. kills nice quick concise i do have time to do another one so let's quickly get into it uh okay they're gonna kill the hostages we've got a sniper for help there's th three hostages so one two i guess the third one's gonna be in this other area somewhere this is interesting so we definitely want to take out one of the execution i don't think we can save this hostage i think they're just dead like if i'm being if i'm being perfectly honest the sniper can take out one of the executioners, but not the other. What are some of the ways that we can get around this? Okay, so we're definitely breaching this main door with the slap. We can crack both these doors with the GLA. Or a frag. Like, they're not going to keep a hostage in the middle there, so maybe a frag grenade. And then we use that to swing as well, so we frag something and flash this come in, try to get him before he gets the chance to kill our dude. Probably shotguns then. So, let's go Hembo. 
and slot can come okay. along. Okay, so everyone understand the plan? Let's give it a go. Fuck, this is actually really annoying. Can we suck her into the wall at least? There we go. Alright, our weapons are a little bit long, which kind of sucks, but... Okay, that guy is down. Let's frag these, like we said. We're gonna try to get away with the flash. Both are throwing here, so this is real risky. But we need to go fast, so I think we take the risk. Time to say goodbye. There's a frag coming my way. It's that right there. Oh, shit. I mean, zero star, look. Like. All right, we didn't take any cats though, so we can attempt that again. Let's try that again. So, if I blow that door, that's when shit gets awkward. Okay, we didn't take Kaz again, so let's, let's try this one more time now that I know the rules. No injuries, super good. Was that three times? I don't know why the executioners don't just, you know, funnily enough, execute. So we cleared this the, the bloody, not the clockwise or anything like that. We done the open space first. This guy's real mad about whatever's on the TV. Shotguns are a bit long for what we're doing here, but it seemed to work just fine. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, that's all the missions done for this episode. This is where we currently stand after a disastrous ambush that almost went so well. That's gonna eat, like, irk at me for ages, but... Anyway, we're into the tiny troubles. They're pretty fun little maps, so hopefully we can get some good shotgun usage, pistol usage maybe, Mark 18s are coming out. We're having all the good shit right now, so... Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Peace.